Dozens of World B'nai Akiva youngsters from Belgium and Israel currently staying in a summer camp in France have been infected with swine flu and are being kept in quarantine. The Foreign Ministry and the World B'nai Akiva movement are in contact with the relevant health authorities on the issue. Summer camp participants are being confined to the premises and kept away from outside contact. Meanwhile, here at home, the 25-year-old pregnant woman hospitalized in Asaf Harofe Hospital in her 36th week of pregnancy remains in intensive care. The woman's baby was delivered through cesarean section, and the baby is in good health. This past week, three serious cases of swine flu were recorded in Israel. Well, nearly 1,000 cases of swine flu have been recorded in Israel since the outbreak began. Joining me now from our Tel Aviv studio to discuss the latest outbreak of the H1N1 virus is Dr. Ran Balitzer, Director of Health Policy Research and Planning at Kalate Health Services. Dr. Balitzer, thank you for coming in this evening. Good evening. Uh, are we witnessing a growing number of cases in recent days? Well, we do, and we expect this trend to keep on going at the same uh, pace. Um, what we are witnessing now is similar to what the United States have witnessed approximately a month ago. So we have some kind of expectation knowing what is coming in the future weeks. Uh, this disease is infective from person to person and therefore there's no reason for it to stop disseminating in this country as well as in most of other uh, countries in the world. The good news is that the disease so far has shown to be not more severe than the usual uh, seasonal influenza that we see every winter. However, as probably some people know, even seasonal influenza do have its complication rates. And as we will see the number of people uh, increasing, number of people being infected, we will see a few cases here and there of people with more severe disease or complications as we're witnessing this week. Are there any uh, symptoms that are different from the regular flu and how do we, uh, how do we tell whether or not we have swine flu or the regular influenza? It is very difficult, almost impossible, to tell the difference between the seasonal flu and this uh, uh, H1N1, what, what was called as swine flu. There's almost no way of telling the difference. They both start the same with fever and with flu-like symptoms, with respiratory symptoms, and it is almost impossible to tell the difference. What should someone do if they suspect they may have the swine flu? Well, the most uh, basic thing to do is to stay home, not to go to work. If it's a child, not to go to kindergarten or school. Uh, maintain hygiene within the household. And uh, if a person uh, is feeling uh, exceedingly ill, or in a case that he has pre-existing chronic diseases, conditions, uh, in those cases they should seek medical advice as they have those symptoms. Is there a treatment for uh, swine flu, something specific? Yes, actually there is. There is an antiviral treatment called Tamiflu, or the, the generic name is also Tamivir. Uh, this specific drug was purchased in loud, large quantities by uh, the Israeli government uh, in the last few years in preparation for a future uh, pandemic. So there's a large stockpile of these drugs in Israel, which is currently being used for those cases who are at risk for developing such complications. And what is the incubation period if someone has come into contact with a person suffering from swine flu, maybe a primary caregiver? Well, the data so far suggests that the vast majority of people have an incubation period of about one to four days. That's the usual time between a person is being exposed to the virus until he shows the first symptoms of the disease. Any ideas how long this, how long this uh, swine flu may continue? Are we going to see it run its course before the end of the year? Well, uh, it is very difficult to tell, but it is likely that we will see in the next few months uh, continuous dissemination of the disease in Israel and in other countries, and the big question is how the next winter would look like. In the meanwhile, the most basic things people should do is, if they feel ill, not to go uh, to work and follow the basic hygiene rules uh, of washing hands uh, as often as possible, especially when going outside in public, and also not coughing into the hands, but rather to the sleeve to prevent contaminating the hands and there, thereby uh, infecting others. Those basic rules will help to reduce the disease from being uh, vastly disseminated. Dr. Ran Balitzer, thank you for your advice and uh, you. Shabbat Shalom to you. Shabbat Shalom.